Hello and welcome to another edition of As the Blade Turns. My name is Dave Lees. If you are new here, please subscribe below. I wanted to follow up on the disappearance and discovery of Alina Gorbachova. Thank you to those who wrote in with the pronunciation correction. I was going off of a Russian junior <laughs> national championship announcer and it was rather difficult. I am making this video to illustrate how the young how the Russian establishment is reacting to the disappearance of a young, vulnerable teenage girl who has become part of a sports system that cares little about her physical, mental, or emotional well-being. Alina was found at a movie theater in Moscow. Please note how the stated opinions of figures like Tatiana Tarasova have changed and evolved over time. Yesterday they were worried. Today, they are shaming her for making everyone else worried. By tomorrow, they may be attempting to discover what kind of candy she bought during the film and how such undisciplined choices will impact her triple axle. Think of how a mature, emotionally intelligent adult would handle such a situation and then brace yourselves. This is a Russian fever dream. Investigators handed over figure skater Alina Gorbachova to her mother. It is reported by R Sport with reference to a source in law enforcement. It is noted that the athlete did not name the reason for her disappearance. Earlier, 16-year-old Gorbachova disappeared in Moscow. The night before, the police found her in one of the capital's cinemas. She did not name the reason for her disappearance. There were no conflicts with anyone. She left and walked. Night, in her words, was spent on the stairs in a residential building. And in the morning, she went shopping into the cafe. After that, she went to the Vegas shopping center, went to the cinema, because she wanted to get some sleep. They found her there, the source said. Gorbachova is the champion of Russia among juniors in 2023, and she lived with her coach, Sofia Fedchenko. Elizaveta Hurdarbdieva commented on the disappearance of Alina Gorbachova. I breathe a sigh of relief. Fortunately, Alina was found, and nothing threatens her physical health. But mental? In no case, do not blame her for not knowing what to do and who to turn to. Let her parents and other adults who are responsible for the girl think about it. The last thing you can do right now is to hate a 16-year-old person. Believe me, an athlete, when there is no support and understanding nearby, no friends with whom to share, accustomed to relying only on themselves, begins to solve problems on their own. And sometimes that leads to what happened. And of course, this story teaches us that a psychologist is an important specialist in the team where big sport goes hand in hand with teenagers. Tatiana Novka, the wife of Putin's press secretary, Dmitry Peskov, is glad that the missing figure skater Alina Gorbachova has been found. God bless. We are all happy. This is a great happiness. It's good that everything ended well. The whole country was worried, especially the world of figure skating, all of us. The parents exhaled, the coach exhaled, relief at heart. Coach Tatiana Mishina reacted to the fact that the missing Alina Gorbachova was found. It's good you found her. Now the reason for her act will gradually become clear. Everyone got worried. So many forces were raised in search. Of course, for others, this will be a signal that you need to be more careful. Everyone thinks a little. It cannot be said that this is something useful but any situation teaches something. The main thing is that she is found, and then there will be further information. Olympic champion Natalia Besmianova urged to contact the parents of figure skater Alina Gorbachova. Earlier, the 16-year-old Gorbachova disappeared in Moscow the night before the police found her in one of the capital cinemas. Firstly, it's a huge relief that the girl was found because the thoughts were terrible. I don't know how to feel about it. I have mixed feelings. On one hand, glory to you, Lord. On the other hand, don't we want to somehow appeal to our parents? Because the coach knows their business. They act, act, act. But you don't have to give the girl away like that. Just hand it over to the coach. Well, parents should have some responsibility. The girl is 16 years old. She's a minor. How is it possible that she was given away? She trains. She lives. I see in the publications the coach wanted it that way. What does it mean? Yes, I was absolutely blinded by my career, but my parents should be in the life of every child, said 1988 Olympic champion Natalia Vesmianova. Gorbachev is the champion of Russia among juniors in 2023. She lives with her coach, 
Sofia Vichenko. Note how every article about this ends with the same line. Gorbachev is the champion of Russia among juniors in 2023. She lives with her coach, Sofia Vichenko. Figure skater Alina Gorbachev for the first time commented on her disappearance on Instagram. Earlier, 16-year-old Gorbachev disappeared in Moscow. I'm sorry for making everyone nervous and worried about me. Now everything is in order. I'm at home with my favorite coach and mom. Don't worry, my act has nothing to do with figure skating and Sofia Anatolevna Fedchenko. I will train in my team and delight you with new performances. Everything is fine with us. Do not believe the media and unfortunate bloggers, Gorbachev wrote on Instagram. Tatiana Tarasova called the act of figure skater Alina Gorbachev irresponsible. Earlier, the 16-year-old champion of Russia among juniors disappeared in Moscow. The night before, the police found her in one of the capital cinemas. You can't do that at all, that's for sure. Very irresponsible. Everyone should understand that. Of course, this may affect her future career. They said she had a fight with the coach, but it does not matter. She lived with Sofia for six years. It's like a mother arguing with a child. In this situation, I feel very sorry for the coach. The fact that an athlete lives with the coach is normal. This has never affected anything. I also have my athletes live at my home. There was no other option. Of course, athletes need to work with a psychologist. In our work, we use many methods. Gorbachev herself today apologized for her disappearance, but explained that it was not connected with the coach and with figure skating. Alina Gorbachev's grandmother said that the family wants to take the figure skater away from the coach. Earlier, the 16-year-old champion of Russia among juniors disappeared in Moscow. The day before, the police found her in one of the capital cinemas. The mother is now on her way to the police department, where her daughter is being taken. We will insist on taking her away from the coat so that she can live with her mother again. I am now against her career in sports. Survive days are not worth any Olympic medals. We will talk about this with our granddaughter, but we don't know yet how she will react, said the athlete's grandmother. My daughter seems to be fine. I will come in the morning and talk to her about everything, said Alina Gorbachev's father, who lives in Krasnodar in the south of Russia. The athlete herself today apologized for her disappearance, but explained that it was not connected with her coach and figure skating. Gorbachev lives with her coach, Sofia Fedchenko. Well, Alexander Enbert of Zabiako and Enbert supported the 16-year-old figure skater Alina Gorbachev. It's all good that she is alive and well. Thank God everything is all right. I am not a psychologist and cannot analyze her actions. I just want to support Alina and say that she is not alone, said the bronze medalist of the 2019 World Championships in pair skating. Gorbachev herself today apologized for her disappearance, but explained that it was not connected with the coach and with figure skating. Tatiana Tarasova called the act of Alina Gorbachev a betrayal. On August 28th, the champion among Russia among juniors disappeared in Moscow. At the age of 16, a person is already an adult. If at this age she does not understand what she is doing, then what kind of a person is this? What is the age discount? I assess her act as a terrible betrayal towards everyone. She just had to call her mother and tell her that she was alive and well, and not to get on our nerves, said honored trainer of the USSR. Gorbachev herself today apologized for her disappearance and said that it was not connected with the coach and figure skating. Yelena Tchaikovskaya declared the responsibility of the coach in the disappearance of Alina Gorbachev. I am alarmed that today the coach-athlete relationship has categorically changed into a bad shape. In my life, the athletes and I have always been one family. They have always trusted me. Things like this situation were simply impossible. Yes, there have always been some kind of conflicts, but the task of the coach is also to predict, to foresee such things in order to protect the athlete and themselves. I'm categorically against such relations when the child can just take and leave. This alarmed me, both as the head coach of the national team and just as a coach in general. All my life, my son is still laughing. One of the athletes lived in our third room. I repeat once again, we have always been one family and in a family you need to help each other. And when everything is fine in the family, no one leaves the house. But returning to this particular situation, I am seriously alarmed. I will communicate with everyone on this issue. 
to Yelena Chekhovskaya, head coach of the Russian figure skating team. Gorbachova is 16 years old. She trains with Sofia Fedchenko. At the same time today, the skater apologized for her disappearance, but explained that this was not related to the coach and figure skating. Alexei Zilizhnyakov, master of the boogie woogie for Team Tuberidza, spoke about the relationship between Alina Gorbachova and the coach. Feelings were of course not very good. I know this girl well. I worked with her a lot. She is a wonderful, classy athlete, very trained and disciplined. As an athlete and as a person, she never had any questions. I don't even know what made her do it, but adolescence is always very difficult. My friend's sister ran away from home. There was such a case. And adolescents, girls and boys are always up to something. I don't know what exactly happened and how it happened, but at the time of what happened, there was only one thought. God forbid that something bad happens. I hoped for the best. I just thought that maybe she was walking somewhere, coming to her senses. We all drove bad thoughts from ourselves. I'm not going to speculate as to why this happened. I was not there. I do not know what happened between the coach and the athlete or the parent and the athlete. A person who knows the situation inside and out can reason and comment on something. When I worked with Sofia, the figure skaters coach, and Alina, I saw a warm relationship, maybe even maternal, because Sofia has been leading her alone for many years since childhood. There were always good, warm relations between them. It's not that just an athlete lives with a coach and trains. Sofia puts a lot into it. It happens that conflicts happen on an equal footing. People can quarrel over nonsense. They live soul to soul all their lives. And then because of a trifling reason, they can quarrel. I can't talk about their conflict. When I worked with Sofia, everything was great. I do not undertake to judge this matter, said the choreographer Alexis Zelesnyakov. Gorbachev herself today apologized for her disappearance and said that it was not connected with the coach and figure skating. And I must say, I am so relieved that Alexei had such warm relations with this girl, and I think he is needed in her life. And I think he is subtly advocating herself. And I must tell you, I could think of no warmer, more concerned maternal coach than a Terry Tudberidze. And I think it is quite time that perhaps Sofia is transferred to the new Terry Tudberidze school when it opens in October. But you see, Yana Rudkovskaya seems to be angling for her school and the Angels of Plushenka as being a great place for Sofia to train. And of course, Yana Rudkovskaya, who survived the mob and stole a baby, said that the escape of Alina Gorbachova raises questions for her relatives. 16-year-old Gorbachova is the Russian junior champion and is trained by Sofia Fedchenko. On August 28th, the figure skater disappeared in Moscow. The police found her the next day in one of the capital cinemas. Regarding the escape of Alina Gorbachova, firstly, talented young athletes do not just run away from home, despite the fact that Alina calls home the apartment where she lives with her coach, not her parents. Something very serious happened since the girl took such a step. Something happened and a separate investigation of the reasons is needed. It is necessary to separately understand what exactly prompted the child to escape. Naturally, she understood that they would be looking for her, but she was in such a state, apparently, when it didn't matter anymore. That is, I categorically do not believe that she took it from scratch and fled without a serious reason. Secondly, I, and not only myself, have obvious questions for the parents and the coach. And as a mother, and as a person who develops children's figure skating in the country of Russia, why is the girl brought to such a state? Why doesn't she live with her family? Who is she so afraid of? Children who pay professional sports are not as social as the rest. They, except for the ice arena, sometimes do not see anything. They have morning classes, constant training, training camps, competitions. These children need a special approach. They need protection. They need understanding. And one cannot show categorical rigidity towards them, especially at such a transitional age. They cannot be punished physically. They cannot be tormented morally. Thank God that everything ended so well. Alina was not injured. She was found. But it could have turned out differently. Someone could have taken advantage of the situation and committed a crime against her. Now this is a call for the whole society. Children need to be heard. Do not follow their lead, but be as loyal as possible. I wish Alina peace of mind and a sense of security. Now you need to remain a strong athlete. Work, train, go for your result. 
so that no one poisoned her, did not touch her, and did not remember about this situation. It is necessary to protect her as much as possible from communication with also toxic adults or angry teenagers, because here the second trouble can happen. Children can be very cruel, wrote producer and wife of two-time Olympic champion Evgeny Plushenka. Gorbachova herself today apologized for her disappearance and said it was not connected with the coach and figure skating. Alina Gorbachova's father said whether the figure skater will continue her sports career. My daughter had an injury around July. This injury is minor, but it affects training. For two months, they were in gentle mode. There is little time left before the start of the season. Let's just say not everything works out for my daughter, so everyone is on edge. There was no quarrel as such with the coach. It was just nerves. Now my daughter is fine. She will continue her sports career. She really wants it. With whom she will live is now being decided. Whether we punish her or not, that is our business, said Dmitry Gorbachev, who seems like such a responsible father, because clearly there was no quarrel with the coach. It was just nerves and this injury on the triple axle that had her run away and had search and rescue teams looking in the Moscow River was just nerves. In other news, silver medalist of the 2022 Olympics in figure skating, Alexandra Trusova, who screamed at coach Terry Tudbaridze during the Olympics that she hated her and never wanted to skate again, does not plan to compete in the new season. According to SE, Trusova reduced her training activity after the tour in Beijing, and the figure skater had previously doubted that she would continue her career. Among the reasons are the lack of international starts, and as a result, motivation, controversial refereeing at the Russian competitions, and the state of health and employment in the show. It is noted that there are no prerequisites for changing Trusova's decision now. TASS also reports that the athlete will miss the test skates of the Russian team in Moscow on September 16th and 17th. Irina Rodina, three-time Olympic champion, spoke about the fact that Trusova stopped regular training. Today, information appeared in the media that Alexander Trusova was no longer seen in CSKA after returning from Evgeny Plushenka's show in China. It is also reported that the skater does not plan to compete for the 2023-24 season. To be honest, I don't really follow Trusova, only when there are some events. The last time we fully saw her was at the Olympics, and this is quite a long period of time. The Russian Grand Prix, I don't watch this. Do I admit the thought that she could end her career? Any athlete can end their career at any time for various reasons. Who has health, who has other interests, everything can be. But you see, in order to speak, you need to see what condition she is in. Sasha performs in shows I don't follow. Would you like to see her perform at a high level again? I'm glad for the performances of any athletes if they feel the strength in themselves to show good results said the three-time Olympic champion. Ronina also answered the question of whether Trusova could again reach the level of the Olympic season. What happened during the Olympic season? Of the five quadruple jumps that she declared and tried to perform, only two were counted. She jumped a lot, but only performed a few of them. Maybe it's a waste of time. Maybe you shouldn't jump so much. Maybe just two, but make them okay? She added, Tatiana Tarasova spoke about the possible end of Trusova's career. I think that now the problems are in her head. She herself decides it is not her coach who decides whether to perform or train. She was asked, does it seem that everything is going smoothly towards the end or suspension of a career? Tarasova answered, she moved to another coach. You need to ask her. True, I repeat, Sasha decides everything herself. Apparently, it's for this. Well, how do you assess her prospects for a possible return to the competitive level? What are her prospects? She already missed a year. She needs to work. I'm not saying that she has no prospects, but in order to recover, you need to work very, very hard. She is a talented person, and you need to restore all the jumps that she had. But with such an approach at hers, is it possible? Impossible! She does nothing to compete. It is very, very unfortunate that she does not have any responsibility. What about for the fans and for the results? Before the Federation, before the fans, of course. She also receives a salary. Yes, even with such talent. Yes, I repeat, she receives a salary and says that she will finish. It's called like this. 
I turn what I want, said the auto coach of the USSR. Well, Yelena Kusterova, who used to be Tarasova's assistant and grunt worker for Klamova and Panamarenko, doesn't like Sean Redstad's theme of the 1980s for the rhythm dance. Earlier, the ISU approved the corresponding musical direction as the theme for the rhythm dances for the 2023-24 season, which Russia is banned for to begin with. But of course, they have an opinion, as they are pretending in their minds to still be competing in the field. When staging new programs, there were some difficulties with the rhythm dance. Well, we did see Alina and Katsalapov, or sorry, Sinitsin and Katsalapov try to do the Commodores. That was unfortunate. The given theme is the music of the 1980s. The obligatory part is the rocker foxtrot. In one of the series, there are key points. In the second, it is prescribed that the partner must take the steps of the lady and she of the partner. To be honest, it is not clear why. And let me just say, after these same gender performances by Hubble and Papadakis and by Cizeron and Lombiel, I am sure the Russians are very confused. Why should a woman dance the man's parts? This is highly unseemly. Well, Kusterova continued, it seems to me that with this approach, the very concept of dance technique is blurred by positions, parallelism, and so on. But now it's pointless to discuss. Well, it is pointless to discuss because you're banned. But Kusterova says, you have to adapt to the rules. Coach Irina Zhuk called for the objective refereeing in Russian figure skating. As for the topic of international competitions, we, to be honest, do not discuss it. Now it is more important that our internal competitions have healthy competition, objective refereeing, because this works for the development of ice dancing. If we act differently, create an illusion and a distorted picture, then in the end, it will lead our dances to a dead end. Then there will be no one to blame but themselves. It seems to me that before the start of the new season, we all need to seriously think about this, said figure skating coach Irina Zhuk, and I agree with Ira. If I think about a country where the fairness of judging is held with the utmost importance and high regard, I always think of Mother Russia. Thank you.